Hey guys, if 2022 was about anything for me as a photographer, it was about trying new things. And to round the year off, I'm doing something that's effectively been 40 years in the making. I'm having my own gallery exhibition. Yes, I've been taking landscape photographs for a long time. Back in the days of film, I used to head out and take black and white photographs and I even developed and printed them myself in the family bathroom. I had a career as a magazine journalist in the 1990s and 2000s and the photography took a little bit of a backseat but not completely and I was still shooting regularly with the brand new digital cameras as they came out. About 15 years ago I got my first proper camera and that kind of revitalized things for me, stuck a rocket up my ass and re-energized my landscape photography. Since I started taking photographs with DSLR and mirrorless cameras, I've built up a collection of getting on for quarter of a million shots in the old Lightroom catalogue. I'm not a hoarder, I just found it quite useful to hang on to them because I never know when I'm going to get a call from somebody saying, have you got a photograph of such and such a location at such and such a time? And nine times out of ten, I actually do. But I digress. Yes, I am putting on my own gallery exhibition. So let's answer a couple of questions about that. And I suppose the most obvious of them is why I haven't done it up till now. And I think the most honest answer I can give to that is that I was suffering from imposter syndrome, I think. I didn't think my photographs were up to scratch. I didn't think I had what it takes to put my photographs on the walls of a gallery and have the great and the good come in and peruse the fine imagery and perhaps purchase a few. Exhibitions were what all those serious photographers did. I had no clue at all how you went about putting on a gallery exhibition. I had no idea what the costs were, what it cost to get all the prints done, to hire the venue. I never understood, didn't understand any of it. And so I saw a succession of people I know, other photographers, putting on exhibitions. Some of them did okay, some of them didn't. And I admit that part of the reason why I never followed up on anything similar was just fear. But I have now changed my mind. It is a man's prerogative to change his mind, should he wish. And so the second question after why haven't I done it up till now is why have I changed my mind and decided to do it? And part of it is that I feel like I'm ready to move my photography on to the next stage. I decided to stop whoring myself out and selling myself short at the local markets, flogging cheap-ass photos in cheap-ass frames for cheap-ass money. I stopped selling my photographs online. I pulled the shops down. I closed the e-commerce. I decided I would do something serious and I thought, fuck it, let's go big. You see, I had a bit of an epiphany. I realized that with all these gallery photographers who were getting their works printed and selling them on the walls of galleries and exhibitions, whether they were permanent or rotated in and out, at some point or another, they all just said, fuck it, and took the plunge. I mean, sure, you can leverage this sort of thing off a big win in a photo competition or through your position working in the media or something like that. But quite a lot of other guys just said, okay, I'm gonna get these printed and put them on the walls and we'll see if people want to buy them. People have been telling me to do an exhibition for some time. I do regularly get queries from people saying, 
do I have a gallery and is there somewhere that they can go and see my photographs printed out? And I always say, no, I'm sorry, there is no gallery and there's no way you can go to see my photos. So I started thinking about it and I came to the conclusion that I have a sufficient body of work to justify it now. And I also feel that I have developed a style. When I went through my Lightroom catalog, trying to work out which photographs I could print. I had in the back of my mind the kind of shots that I wanted to include. And when I went through, I found them and the themes are there. So I've got a sufficient body of work. I've got plenty of photographs in my style that I think would work. And I was introduced to the owner of a local gallery who said that she would be thrilled to have my photographs, to have an exhibition, Andy Hutchinson Photography exhibition in her gallery. Now, it's a popular gallery that local artists primarily and photographers secondarily exhibit in. And it's not easy to get a slot in there, but I have got a really nice time frame at the very beginning of February. Of course, one of the other reasons why I never bothered looking into doing a gallery exhibition was because I couldn't afford it. But we have a little bit of money now, a bequest, and we're going to use some of that money to get my photographs printed, nicely printed, mind you, and to put on this exhibition. So there you go, guys. That's the lowdown. I'm putting on exhibition, and I thought it'd be a cool thing to document the process in case this is something you've thought about doing yourself maybe you've resisted doing it for similar reasons to the ones i just explained or maybe you think you're at a point in your photography journey where this would be a cool thing to do and you could make a success of it so if you're in either of those situations maybe we can go on this learning process together i'm going to document it for you guys and this is the kind of introduction to it i've been going through the old library picking out contenders of my quarter of a million odd shots i have about nine thousand that i consider good and of those nine thousand i have about ah oh, 350 that i think are very good i'm not sure what the strike rate is on that out of a quarter of a million to have 350 but anyway maybe i'm just a picky bastard or maybe it's a high number i don't fucking know anyway I've been going through those 350 and picking out the ones I think would work well in a gallery. And I'm going to talk you guys through the whole process as we come up to the exhibition. It's not actually going to be that long because we've got the old Christmas break and everything shuts down here in Australia, probably like it does in most places. So I've got to get everything squared away, everything printed and sorted by the last days of January 2023. All right, that'll do it for this video, guys. Have you ever put on an exhibition? How did it go? Did you tank? Or are you glad you did it and it was a big success and you want to do it again and you earn loads of bloody money? Hopefully it was the latter. Let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear about any of your experiences with gallery exhibitions how you got on if you think it's a waste of time and you lost a ton of money or whether it was a roaring success and you managed to finance a new property on the proceeds if you like the vid give us a like and if you want to find out more about my photography journey towards this exhibition in about a month's time god almighty is so that soon really is then hit the old subscribe button to be notified whenever i upload a new video Till the next time, guys. Ta-ta.